Welcome to today's video. I want to share five ways I lean on God during tough times and some Bible verses that have been a source of strength for me. Life can be challenging, but I found that turning to God and the support of loved ones makes all the difference. The first way that I turn to God is by prayer. The last couple of years has really strengthened my faith and my prayer life. I have had God walk me through so many moments that I wasn't sure there would be any way out of. From losing half of our income to car problems, health issues from family, you name it, we've been through it. God walked us through each one and not just got us through, but in so many of them showed up in ways that absolutely blew our minds. I am huge on prayer now because I have witnessed God's power and when things get hard, the first thing I do is start praying. The second way I lean on God is through my husband. My husband is my rock. During difficult times, he reminds me of God's promises and keeps me grounded in my faith. He is always right there to listen to my concerns and tell me, don't worry, God has gotten us through much worse and he will get us through this as well. Adam and I have had times of abundance and times where we were rolling pennies to get diapers, but we have never doubted God's good faithful, faithfulness and God has always provided exactly what we have needed. It may not have always been what we want, but it has always been what we need. We've been without vehicles, without our own home, but we have always had a roof over our heads and the things we need in that exact moment. Adam will pray with me and make sure I am no longer worried by the end of our conversation. I am so thankful for his faith and for him always helping me with mine when I need that little bit of assurance. The third way that I lean on God is by reading the Bible. I don't know about you, but anytime I'm reading the Bible, I just get this overwhelming sense of peace. So when things get a little hard or I'm getting anxious or worried about something, I go get my Bible out. I end up feeling so much better afterwards. I want to share some Bible verses that have helped me over the years. You can leave your favorite ones in the comments. I would love to hear them. My first one would be Isaiah 43 two. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, Thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Another one would be Psalm thirteen five through 6 But I have trusted in thy mercy, my heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord, because he hath dealt bountifully with me. Another one is Psalm one eighteen twenty four. This is the day the Lord hath made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. I know so many of you, probably all of you know that one. <laughs> And then Psalm 121, I'm going to read the whole thing because it's all really, really good. And I just, I have to share it. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. I just, I absolutely love that. And the funny story about that one is, as I was reading a book that was not by Laurel in Laura Ingalls Wilder, but it was based on her life. I can't remember now who wrote it, but in that book, they mentioned that this was one of her favorite Bible passages. And I absolutely loved it when I read that. Um, I know I've read it before, but I don't know why just after reading that that time, it really, really stuck with me. And that's been one that I just love so much. I'm going to take a break here and tell you about Fitville. Fitville was awesome enough to send me these boots. I absolutely love these boots. I want to tell you a couple things about them. They have a roomy width and high instep. Adjustable Velcro and, space, and a spacious 4E toe box ensures cozy comfort for swollen feet. Fur line adjustable collar, a plush low cut design offering a precise fit for flexibility and extra warmth. Cozy and silky, the wool felt upper 
Velvet insole and seamless lining offer essential protection for your feet. I just absolutely love these boots. Now, I can't wear them outside. They are for my they're just my glorified slippers because the snow is just too high for me to wear them outside, but y'all, they keep my feet so warm. I absolutely love these so much. So, there will be a code down below for you and all the info will be down in the description. Definitely go check them out. So back to what I was saying. So my number four way that I lean on God would be my friends. I have talked about surrounding yourself with a good community before. I actually have talked about it several times now. And I talk about that because for so long, I prayed for Christian friends that I could lean on when things get hard or when things are really good, I can share the excitement with. I didn't know the amazing friends God was going to bless me with when I was saying all of these prayers, but I am so thankful and grateful for the friendships I have. I am able to go to them for wise counsel, prayers, encouragement, and I can feel God use them to help me with whatever situation I am going through. Never underestimate the power of a great friendship. I can tell you, my friends have gotten me through so many different things, and I am so thankful to have them right alongside my husband and my family anytime that things get a little hard. They're always there to remind me that God is good and that he will get us through whatever it is we are facing. So if you don't, I know I said this not too long ago, but if you don't have a good community, just pray about it because I can tell you, I, I did not have a good community around me and God has definitely, definitely blessed me with one of the best. Now, the fifth way and final way that I lean on God is through music. Sometimes you just need a song that speaks right to you. There is a song that when my gallbladder would keep me up at night in so much pain that I would listen to on repeat. And it made me feel as though God was right beside me. I hear that song today and still have tears in my eyes just thinking about that time. It is called In Jesus' Name by Katie Nicole. You may know it. It's a few years old now. That song is so powerful. And when the pain would be unbearable, I would play that song. And it took my mind from the pain to the power of God. Hymns are also so good to listen to when things get rough. Blessed Assurance is one of my favorite hymns. Victory in Jesus is another one that I love from when I was little and would go to church with my granny. Blessed Be the Name is also a really good one. What songs do you listen to when you need to feel God around you? So there are my five ways that I lean on God when things are hard, but Honestly, those are my five ways that I lean on God no matter what what is going on in my life. I find that um, these are just things that I will do from my day-to-day -day life. And so I hope that some of these helped you or one of them spoke to you. Definitely let me know how you lean on God when things are hard. And of course, y'all, Lord willing, I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.